Okay, we're at Colorado Donuts. You guys should come check it out. Sophia is the nicest person ever. And these donuts are amazing. Dude, I am mind blown on how delicious this is. Watch their video to see all the things we do. Honestly, Alex, kudos to you because I'm already tired and we've only been to two places so far. <laughs> Roy, we're almost done. Yes, I know. Thank how you for was, having uh, me. How was it? It was good. Yeah. I like this yum or yuck. Yum or yuck. Yes, be and sure to check it out. <laughs> oh, and you're always a yum too. Oh, I never shoot in cinematic. What is, it? is it blurry? Yeah, the background's all blurry, but it looks so clean for iPhone. Whoa. Wow. I like it. Be sure to subscribe to find out what we just did. Alex, if you're watching this, I love you. And I was not poking fun at you at all. He's not, he wasn't. I was just trying to be you. No, he was. <laughs> Jolly Bee Chicken, yum yum. Thank you guys for having me. This is a lot of fun. And uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. All right. Oh, huh? too much tummies. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Drive safely. I'll see you tonight. It's almost three o'clock, and I am having probably one of the latest starts I've had in like a really, really, really long time. I need coffee. I've been practicing, but I haven't gotten any better. So let's see. That sucked. It's a V for Veronica, but coffee's for me because she's not here. Okay, so here's the list of things that I have to do in general. I don't know what I'll be able to do or what order I should do them in, but this is what I need to do. I need to finish painting the garage wall for the background of Ron Ron. I need to drywall the shed and put flooring in and put trim boards in, and I also need to build a gate. I also need to transplant the new tree I got Ronnie and the blackberry bush and the two new vegetables that we just got and clean the office. 10 things. And give Guppy a bath. That's actually not too bad. But enough talking, let's get to it. And I also need to do my pull-ups, which I've been doing every day, which I think is the reason why I slept in because I've been so sore and so tired. Also, I started doing this workout program with Yusuf that we did way back in the day when we lived the 1600 called Body Beast. And I'm also running training for a marathon that I have in September. It's good to be busy. And if you're not busy, you're like her, just sitting there, not doing anything. Come on, Gabby. Time to get in the back. Time to get in the back. Come on, Gabby. Come. Bath is complete. Just to show you guys how much, look how much hair is coming off of this guy right now. That is so much fur. So I don't know if you guys can notice, but I've lost some weight. This whole workout and eating between 12 and eight, I'm fasting for 16 hours, has been doing good. My jawline is getting better. I feel a lot healthier. I am sore all the time, but it's a work in progress. It's just the beginning. Still have, a lot of weight to lose. I'm at 232 or 234. Somewhere in there, still a lot less than I was when I first started this workout journey. What is it, Coda? Oh, you're showing us your trick? Like, look what I can do this to this cow. Deppy's doing his rough rough. Ellie's over there watching. Okay, let's go inside. So this is one layer of primer and one layer of paint. I need two, but honestly, from this point of view, this wall looks pretty nice. It just needs one more coat of paint to make it even and nice. I will say I was a little lazy and I did the mudding like really late at night. So I wasn't able to tell how uneven it was until now. Yeah, uh, Guppy, come here. Guppy, leave it. But yeah, I'm gonna do one more coat of paint. Puppies, come here. One thing I do need to work on in here is lighting. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me paint the whole time, but I'll show you a little bit so, you know I did it.
So this wall is not perfect. It's made out of MDF and I applied some mud to it to basically hide where they're all connecting and stuff. But I did it at night. I did it like really late at night. I didn't have all the lights on and I was being lazy and I was rushing it. So like if you get up close, you can see the imperfections on the wall. My thing is that since it's gonna be a backdrop, can you see the imperfections? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my friend Brian, who is a very skilled cinematographer. You guys know him from shooting Ron Ron videos and we're gonna see if he notices. Question for you. So the wall behind me, can you yeah. see any imperfections on it from here? No. No. So as a cinematographer, if we were to use this as a white backdrop, do you think you'd be able to pick up any of the imperfections on it? Yeah, it looks good. It's not shiny though, is it? It's just the way that it's dry. Is it drying still? Or? Yeah, it's drying right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then no, it should, look, it should look like my house almost. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Then you can see it in person. All right, I'll hit you up later. Thank you. All right, later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing knocked off of our list. Let's do the office. Ronnie is. She works on her training every day. Good. Wow. Stay. Oh, at least you're like training her. I feel like this is a really good thing to do. Oh. All right. Good. I'm going to transplant this tree real quick, okay? Our tree's new home. I got this specific soil, which is good for citrus plants. Apparently, it doesn't hold a lot of moisture, which is what citrus plants like. I'm learning, so hopefully I don't say anything wrong, but if I do, please correct me in the comment section below. I got some fertilizer. Organic and natural handcraft blend. I'm gonna put this toward the base near the roots of our tree. I've never done this before. I mean, at least not with something this big. So hopefully that'll work. I mean, we're gonna find out. I guess the ultimate test is if it dies, then I messed up somewhere, right? Should've took off my wedding ring at least. the first tree I've ever planted. Ta -da. I think I did it right. It looks good, right? I mean, I made a mess, sorry, but. It's okay, it looks really good. Thank you. Good. Why do you have to do it right now? Because it's, it's gonna rain tomorrow. Guppy! Guppy! Guppy, over here. You say no. no, no you Wait, I wanna show you how I've been working on spot. Can okay. I show you in the, in the kitchen? I gotta clean up real quick. Are we really naming it Lime Tree? We're just gonna name it Lime? Well, you name it. Why I don't, don't know. You name it? What are you, Limey? That's no. Limey? Lime tree. What do you guys think we should name it? Mr. Lime tree. Okay, we'll call it Mr. Lime tree. Mr. Lime tree. Mr. Lime, last name tree. That's your name, Mr. Lime. <laughs> We're so... Creative. Creative, yeah. Mr. Lime tree it is. <laughs> we'll see how long you live, Mr. Wait. Lime tree. But this scared me. Come, come look, come look, come look. Puppy, stay inside. So you know that compost barrel that we have? So here. Is it squash? What is it? Aaron. So like, Aaron, what is it? What is you that? see that? What is that? What is that? It's an onion. What? I guess we put an onion in there to in our compost. And I put this on top so I wouldn't have to, so I could just put it in here because I'm putting blackberries in here. But it's like, and that's like, that's a big onion. Why does it look like that? I don't know. I mean, I will say I've, I haven't been spinning this as often as you I should be. You sure that's onion? Or is that garlic? Oh, you got, you got that. Hold on, let me grab it here. What is that? No, that's garlic. Is that garlic? I'm gonna smell it. That's an onion. That's onion? Why does it look like that? <laughs> it grew in the barrel. I found this in the barrel. Ew, that is an onion. Yeah, that's, I, I don't know. I'm gonna plant, I feel like I should plant it. It survived in the darkness. How? I don't know. I'm gonna plant this. <laughs> but that's been in the, it's been in the compost. But in the compost, in the compost. It's like coffee grounds, Coffee egg grounds, eggshells, egg soil. I mean, like that's pretty much like what your vegetables grow in anyways. Well, just to see, just to see, right? You never know. We'll find out. This is insane. Why is this making me so excited? I was like, what is that? My hand was there and it fell down. I was like, ah! You thought it was alive? I thought it was something alive. I was like, oh no, a critter got in there. Why really wants to show us something. What is it? Ellie. <laughs> dang it, dang it. 
Spot. Good girl. That's good. Ready? Spot. Oh, good that's good. good. Guppy's like, I know that too. What about Guppy? He's doing it too. Oh, good boy, Guppy. Sorry, Coda, you're on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> We've been instructed not to give her any treats. Ready? Hey, sit. Spot. Good girl. Stay. Spot. Good girl. Good boy. Oh, you went to your other spot. Good girl. Or Coda. I'm oh, so sorry. Coda, we can't. Your mom said no. If we give you treats, we can never watch you again, apparently. Spot. Good girl. Okay, good job. So my camera battery died, but what I'm doing now is we have these bins that used to have something in it. When we first moved here, they were here, but they were just dead, whatever was in it. And since then, I've seen paint be poured in it. Just a bunch of things that are really bad for soil. So I'm just gonna take all this nasty dirt, has nails, has everything in it, toss it, put new soil in there, and then plant strawberries in it. Probably wondering why I'm doing all this at night. It's supposed to get a lot of rain tomorrow. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. And I was supposed to do it earlier, but as you guys know, I overslept. So this is my punishment for oversleeping. What I did with this one was did the same thing, took it all out. That's our blackberry bush. I even gave it something to grow on. I have this connected to the bottom of the bin, so hopefully it'll never fall over. That's future Aaron's problem. I know the setup and the lighting is kind of not the best, but I'm working with what we got. Working with what we got. Strawberries. Time to put them in. So it said they shouldn't be planted too close together. So we'll see. It's one strawberry plant. All right, so that other container wasn't big enough. I know, you're probably like, I didn't know this was Aaron's gardening show, but my vlogs consist of things I like doing. And this is something I would consider me like doing. Something I like to do, sorry. So I'm not even sure if they'll make it, but I think they deserve a chance to try. Everyone deserves a chance to try. I think that's it. Ronnie, yeah. can I show you what I've done? I look like a monster. Can you come see? Come through the bedroom back door. How's it work out? It's supposed to rain a lot tomorrow. So, kind of preparing for that. Look what I did. Oh my gosh, my hands are dirty. Oh, I'm sorry for not helping you. It's okay, what were you doing? It's farming with my game. <laughs> Ron, you know, you're farming your whole life and you're doing that in your game. It's okay, but look. So I don't know if these strawberries are gonna make it, but I decided to give them a chance anyways. These are strawberries. This is the blackberry for it to grow up on. I made a base to this That's at the bottom so of the thing, so it'll be strong, keep it going. Here's our onion monster, <laughs> and then our little lime tree. There's actually one more thing that needs to be planted, and I need your help for it. We know? Yeah, because it's gonna rain tomorrow, and I feel bad we bought these like two days okay. ago. You have shoes on? You have to come into the garden with me. Okay. Yeah, those are the plants you want, the vegetables. The blueberries? No, these aren't the blueberries, these are the... Zucchinis. Zucchinis. But you're supposed to plant them on the ground, so I don't know how to do that. What do you mean? We can't plant them in the raised garden bed? No. They're ground. Have you done research? They're... The guy said that they belong with their family on the ground. Because they get... Apparently they can get really, really big, so they need to be on the ground. Oh. So I don't know what to do. Can you oh. think about it? Look how big that lettuce has gotten, though. <gasps> Oh my god. It's already back. Okay, let's see. I still have some in the fridge from our last time. That's probably not good anymore. <laughs> no, it probably is. <gasps> the arugula. Yeah, arugula's going crazy. Because I was going to put the, the zucchini here, but you don't think that's enough space? Where does zucchini can be grown? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Emily got, where does zucchini? You know, not how about, physically. Can you plant zucchinis in raised garden beds? How to plant zucchini in raised garden bed. For raised beds, use miracle Grow. Sow zucchini seeds three to four inches apart. Okay, how about this? Look up, say, how much space to, does zucchini need in raised garden bed? That's what you need. That's what it just said, three to four inches just, apart. Not apart, just, just look up how much space does a zucchini plant need in a raised garden bed? At least 1.5 to 2 feet. That's not enough. Feet. Here. Yeah, we gotta figure out something. <gasps> mushrooms. That means our soil is good. What will you do with the mushrooms? I just, people just let them go, but look at that guy. Boom. That looks beautiful. But you know what's bad? It's the one that I transplanted, the one I cut off. I cut it too, I cut it too far and it died. Wait, what? 
Look at that slug. I literally got, ew, get that out of there. They're good for the soil. Oh my gosh, it's literally like a cliche slug. But I broke, I know, I cut too close to the crown. Wait, when you, when, when, I, when I, I'm the one who killed it. Wait, so I did these. And you did good, they didn't die, they came back strong. I did these. Yeah. I did something right. <laughs> you did and not. my farming game is paying off. No, it's, Oh. how many hours have you played the game? Four, what was it, 40 or more? <laughs> Probably. Okay, let's go do end of vlog talk. So how many times can we get I said, um, these? You said three? This one guy on TikTok, he's really tall and he plants, he turned his whole yard into a garden. He said you can get like three good harvests off of it. You know what we should do once the romaine is done, now that we know how to grow romaine, we should put it in its own little section. Little section so then we can just have a little romaine garden. All right, I'm gonna keep end of vlog short this time because But yeah, thank you guys for joining me for my lazy Friday. I woke up late, didn't get too much done, but I think I kind of salvaged what time I had left. Ronnie, I'm just gonna say this. Your inspiration at the end of each vlog, whether it be you judging them on our ice cream stuff, has helped subscriber count. No way. It does. We are almost under losing a thousand subscribers every month, and it's all started with your funny quotes at the end of the videos. No way. So what's gonna happen if they don't subscribe to this video? If you don't subscribe. If you don't subscribe and you have a pet, me and Guppy are going to raid your house from all of your treats and take all your treats so you can't give your pet their treats. <gasps> <gasps> Look, Guppy, Guppy's like, let's do it, mom. Your, pe your pet is not gonna love you. Look, like, Gubby's like, let's go do it, Mom. Yeah, we're gonna go. Let's go we're get him. Go let's get him, Mom. Let's get him. All right, guys, on that note, don't forget to be true and be you. And we'll see you guys next time. Ronnie's back farming again. <laughs>